Hello, good morning viewers. Here is another difficult yet simple among the simplest words problem questions I have ever seen. Why I consider it difficult is that I spent a lot of time trying to figure out the right approach. But in the end, I realize it is very simple. The question reads, a two digit number is in such a way that the sum of its digits is four. This means that if you should add the first and the second digits together, the answer will be four. And the difference between the number and when it is reversed is 18. Suppose the number is 23. The reverse form of 23 is 32. So the difference between these two numbers will be 18. If and only if this is the number we are looking for. All right. So let's the first and the second digit be X and Y. But I don't want to write it as X, Y. Reason? Because in mathematics, this is X multiplied by Y. Instead, I can write it as 10x plus y. I will explain this. Let the number be 23. Just for example, going back to place value, we know that 3 is at unit place, and this is at tens place. And 2 is 10 times as significant as 3 if we should consider place value. So 23 can be written as 20 plus 3. And 20 can also be written as 10 multiplied by 2, then we have plus 3. So if we should relate x, y with 23, where x is 2 and y is 3, you can see that x is 2 multiplied by 10, it will give us 20 back. And y is still 3, joining them together we have 23. All right. And the reverse form of this will be 10y plus x, if you should reverse the number. Because 23 is 20 plus 3. And the reverse form of 23 is 32, which is 30 plus 2. Can you see that? Okay. The first statement here says, if you should add the two numbers together, you're going to obtain 4. So therefore, x plus y will give us 4. And the difference between the number and when it is reversed is 18. But remember, to take the difference between two numbers, you have to take the higher number minus the lower or the smaller number. But which one is higher among these two numbers? We don't know. Therefore, we can consider absolute value. If you know 3 is greater than 2, so the difference between these two numbers is 3 minus 2, which is 1. At the same time, 2 minus 3 is negative 1, but the absolute value of negative 1 is still positive 1. So we can consider any one of these and we are going to get the same value. All right. Let's say 10 plus y, which is 10x plus y. Then we take away... 10y plus x, the result will be 18 according to the question. This minus is going to affect every time here. So we have 10x minus x is 9x. Then y minus 10y is negative 9y. And to the right, we have 18. 9 is a common factor, so we can divide every single term by 9. This divide by 9 is x minus this divided by 9 is y to the right hand side 18 divided by 9 is 2. We have formed another equation. This is our first equation. Now we can solve equation 1 and equation 2 simultaneously. Let me do it here. Let us add the two equations together. x plus x is 2x y plus negative y is 0, so we go to the right hand side. 4 plus 2 is 6. And uh, if you divide both sides by 2, you have x to be equal to 3. The value of x is 3. We can determine the value of y from either equation 1 or equation 2. Let me use equation 1. We have x plus y, which is 3 plus y. This is equal to 4. Y must be 1 because 1 plus 3 is 4. Therefore, Y equal to 4 minus 3. And Y finally is equal to 1. 
we can substitute these values into these two uh, expressions. 10 multiplied by x, 10 multiplied by 3 is 30. Plus y, and y is 1. And this is equal to 31. The same thing, you can plug it here. You have 10 multiplied by y. 10 multiplied by 1 is 10. Plus x. x is 3. And this is equal to 13. So the numbers, or well, let me say the number. The number could either be 31 or 13. Let us use all of them. If the number is 31, first digit is 3, second digit is 1, and 3 plus 1 must give us 4. And if you should reverse 31, you're going to obtain 13. And the difference between 13 and 31, 31 minus 13 is 18. And if you should consider 13, 1 plus 3 is 4. And if you should reverse 13, you're going to get 31. And the difference between the two numbers, you take the higher minus the lower, 31 minus 13 must give us 18. And hence, we conclude that the number, required number we are looking for is either 31 or 13. Each of these numbers will satisfy this problem. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye bye.